TV viewing experience like no other with the Hannibal Second Screen Sync app, available on App Store. In 2013, Rams defensive end Chris Long traveled to Tanzania with a goal to climb Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest peak in Africa. But he came home with something more profound than a trip to the summit, a shocking realization. You can see it, people are sick. I mean, people are in a perpetual state of being sick. And you know, it's not just a common cold type thing, it's water related illnesses or you know, the lack of having clean water. In Tanzania, he met Doug Pitt, the nation's goodwill ambassador who illuminated the water problem's devastating consequences. In some of these remote areas of Tanzania, two out of five kids will not reach the age of five due to waterborne illness. Two out of five. A reported 10,000 children lose their lives each year due to Tanzania's unsafe water and poor sanitation. I saw some of these water sources these holes in the ground that, that livestock are defecating in, that animals are in, that you can't see to the bottom. And they're just, it's just brown water. You try to get some of the small, like the green stuff, yeah. like the algae. To clean it out. Before Do you, you clean can... it? No, no. No, you just drink it? Yeah. I could never comprehend that people would actually be drinking out of that. People are drinking without a second thought. Long created the Water Boys Initiative enlisting NFL players to raise money for clean water projects across East Africa. I play defensive line for the St. Louis Rams. A lot of people might not know who I am or care, but I know a lot of people care who Russell Wilson is, and uh, I know a lot of people care who Danny Amendola is and, and Kyle Long, and I got Chad Greenway in Minnesota. I got over 20 already. He kind of calls me. We had never met, never talked, and said, this is what I want to do. When he kept explaining what was going on in the situation, I said, yeah, I'll be a water boy for you for sure. I thought it was awesome. The Water Boys program identifies remote villages in dire need of clean water, then hires Tanzanian-based crews to install and service solar-powered wells. The problem is solvable. It's right underneath their feet. It's just a matter of finding where that water is and then digging until you hit water. Yeah. That's good. As we are able to raise money and, and get to these people and dig the, these water wells, these are gifts that last for literally 20 and 30 years. In their first four months, Long's team raised $400,000, funding eight new wells and bringing clean water to nearly 40,000 people. The eventual goal, 32 wells, one representing each NFL water boy. Just knowing that there's a bunch of kids that are gonna survive because of that and, and that are gonna be able to start their lives and be able to go to school and be healthy and have hope for a future. It's just a total game changer uh, and it's not just something to drink. It's a way to transform a community. You might not be able to solve the entire world's clean water problem by putting in a well, but you're changing a lot of people's lives.